Hello and welcome to another update video about Ether. So the Ethereum chart, yeah, it's moving just in uh, pretty, pretty slow um, waves, actually. So Bitcoin seems a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, some other coins as well. Ether, a bit slow at the moment, but also reacted to our micro support area, which is actually the support area we defined within the larger support zone, okay, to hold the price and for the price to basically yeah, start wave C to the upside. So also here on the ETH chart, similar to Bitcoin, similar structure we're observing. A wave to the downside, which bottomed around the 20th of March. Uh, B wave to the upside. Okay, so A wave down, B wave up. And the B wave is an A, B, C structure. And um, then we could get a C wave to the downside. All right, so A, B, C. That's the idea, and the idea was, and that's what I've been watching for over the weekend, throughout the weekend, you know, since Friday's low, when the price hit here, the golden ratio at 3,248, we've been watching for this C wave to start. It might be unfolding. I mean, I'm not sure how high it gets because it's pretty disappointing at the moment. What I wanted to see is actually um, Ether be a little bit stronger than Bitcoin. So maybe it can still do that, but I'm getting a bit... Um, bit concerned that, uh, you know, it, it might not give us that high B wave. Bitcoin is basically doing what it's supposed to be doing in this correction. I mean, Ether to a degree, but it's just not strong enough because really ETH needs desperately that high um, B wave. Okay. The thing is, if Bitcoin finishes its B wave rally, and I talked about that in the Bitcoin video, well, then Ether, you know, um, <laughs> You know, I don't know, you know, if Bitcoin then comes down, what's Ether going to do? Is it going to break below support? Maybe. I talked in my first video today about the alternative scenarios for Ether on the daily chart. I will do that tomorrow again, probably. Let's focus here on the one hour chart. I talked about the scenarios on the daily chart in my first video today. If you're new or if you're interested in those patterns, take a look at my first video today in which I cover the daily chart. But yeah, at the moment, the price is pushing higher, which is great, but we still have to overcome this descending trend line here that you can see actually on the chart. So we have two touch points already, maybe a third wave to go. Okay, third wave, um, sorry, a third, um, yeah, the third wave here to go and to, to break through this descending trend line, basically, that would be ideal. This third wave should reach, and we can define that as well, and there we come to the next problem, actually. If I measure the length of the wave one, go to the wave two low, then the third wave should reach minimally 3,528 as a first ideal target, actually 3,556. So that gives us a target for the third. And this is actually around the 50% FIP level. So you may already see the problem that we have here, because if it really only gets there, then forms a wave four, you know, the wave five might end around the golden ratio level. I mean, that doesn't even take us to the optimal ideal C wave target, which is actually around $3,818. So there is a lack of confluence between the shorter time frame count and the larger time frame, just overall C wave projection, which points to $3,818. It is just something, I mean, it, it might reveal itself over the next few days, you know, but that confluence at the moment is just not there. That's just not there. And I'm always looking for that because if we have, for example, um, a structure that clearly points, you know, all targets pointing towards one level, that's great. But yeah, it, you know, I'm just thinking we might not get that high B wave. Okay, let's see. If we don't get the high B wave, as soon as the five waves are complete, this could be wave C of B completed. And once the wave C of B is completed, we have to be ready for a move down in wave C of four. And then we have to be watching like a hawk. We have to be observing that $2,977 level because for Ether to keep its impulsive potential to the upside, it really needs to hold that $2,977 level. Crucial, absolutely crucial. Any sustained break will send us into one of the alternative structures I talked about earlier today. That would be, for example, a large triangle or maybe even a, um, 
yeah, I mean a large triangle or maybe even a diagonal pattern. Okay, so that wouldn't be bearish, but it might it, it just would make the structure reading the structure much more difficult going forward and also much less predictable. But for now, let's just focus on what we see. The idea is that we are in a corrective structure. We are the idea is that we also still will go lower, most likely at least, um, in this C wave of wave four, even though we already came quite deep into our support zone at the moment, I would say in the near term it is quite probable that we are going to leave our orange zone to the upside um, in the short term to complete wave C of B. That's my update about um, Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.